services are very transactional services where you're just kind of helping people get the outcome in the business. You're helping them do the books, you're helping them get more margin, whatever the case may be. When you're talking about coaching, okay, when you're talking about coaching, yes, it is important to nail the transactional things. You need to get the freaking math right. You need to actually be providing some value. You need to actually have some processes, some systems. But, but the other thing that you need to deal with is behavior. That's huge. In fact, I would say 80% of this is behavior. 20% of this is transactional, which is actual math, actual accounting, actual tax, actual finances, right? You know, because this stuff is pretty basic, guys. We know what needs to get done. Convincing someone to do it, convincing someone to do it consistently, convincing someone to make it a priority, that's very difficult. Think about it like this. What's hard? Going to the gym and lifting dumbbells? That's easy. That's easy. Getting someone to commit to go to the gym, getting someone to commit to signing up for a membership, getting someone to commit to hire a trainer, getting someone to commit to show up every day? That's freaking hard. Getting someone to commit to change their diet? No, no more bonbons. No more, no more Shake Shack, no more Slurpees or whatever you guys are doing out there. You know, getting someone to commit to that kind of change is hard. That's changing the behavior. If you wanna do coaching, you have to be a fan, a fan of psychology. You have to be a fan of behavior change. You have to be a fan of figuring out how to persuade people to make their life better, how to make their business better, okay? So you have to be covering both of these things. So I'm always thinking about that because I know most of it is about the behavior.